all right guys back to the channel again this time this is going to be a challenge I, I i've done research on this to try and find out what on earth it is because of this don't know if you could see it on the um on the thumbnail u.s.e.d now no i don't think it's used because of the dots obviously the periods but if you look what does it bring up pretty good on the camera? It's got lots of embossment on this on this sheep. Obviously, dreadful state. I don't even think I'm going to be anywhere close to actually bringing this back. I'm going to clean it so we can see, so reveal a bit more of this detail in here. But this is what I'm more, most interested in, is this. From what I can see so far, I'm pretty sure it's United States Engineers Department. Um, chime in if you know I've really drawn blanks on this one but it's the only reference I could make or I could find if so this is early 1900s could possibly be World War 1 and it's a machete a really big machete it's long, it's heavy the handle's absolutely trashed can't see any markings on it anywhere at the moment I can see, I think you can see it on the camera that's red, like a red square here another red square there but I'm not going to touch this with a grinder we are sticking this straight in the evaporust in the hopes that there is a maker's mark or something on this blade if it's military it should show it on the blade obviously we're going to have to do the second part tomorrow because of how big it is it shows you how big that's a five gallon bucket alright let's split this handle I'm going to try and save the rivets that are in there. I don't know how successful that's going to be, but... I don't want to keep this to have a template. Hopefully the vapor rust will loosen these pins up. There's all sorts of writing on there, can you see any of that? Behold the outdoor petite patina.
Well, that was pretty intense. Now, I'm going to have a word of, word of warning for you guys. Can you see... Where is it? Is there a set line that goes across there? Almost looks like there's a crack all the way through it. It's not. That is when I had the it stood up in the bucket for evaporust like that. The evaporust was at that level. It's etched where the where the liquid met the metal. It's actually etched, it's a big line. So needless to say I'm not too happy about that. And it's definitely something if you're going to use the pro that product, you need to keep in mind. Because obviously that's a stress point. And unless I was going to grind this all the way down, it's quite deep. You can actually see when I, you know, remember at the beginning when I swapped it open and done the other side? That's where the other side landed. So yeah, that's a that's a bit discouraging. Alright, kind of a hard decision. I'm gonna, as much as I didn't want to, I'm gonna try and get this line out because, uh, I mean, that to all intents and purposes looked like it was about to break. Which is really annoying because I hope to keep the feel of the of the blade. As you see, the handle's done. But really, like I say, that's just, that's a real shame. I had a quick go on the other side with some real rough sandpaper. I'm going to try and take it down as best I can, trying to, at least so it's not quite so visible. I mean, it really does look like a crack. What do you think? Of course, I know it's not because it's exactly where the um, evaporus sat. So, I'm not going to film it. You'll see it in a second because this is a pain to hand to um, hand sand something like this. It'll take forever. Um, well, hopefully, you'll see a good result. Hopefully, when I come back you won't see anything it will just look like I haven't done nothing so I guess we'll see
Okay. That's the broad linseed oil, about to go on. I'm going to put it all over the blade. Well, here, I'll show you. As I said, as I was doing it, that's the last thing I wanted to do was have to grind the whole blade down, but we did have to grind down a good bit. But thankfully, you can just see it right there. So word of warning to if you use evaporous, do not leave it half in the liquid and half out because it will etch the metal. I did leave most of the pitting and everything because like I said I want to keep it trying. Keep a little bit of things so you could Bit of the stamp there, it was very corroded, that's why there's hardly anything there. So anyway, let's get this uh, linseed oil. What I did do, I put a little bit of dirt on the handle, because I don't want it to look too new. Don't know if I've done a very good job or not, because it looked kind of new to me. but. some on the blade as well As always, leave a, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Um, if you was expecting me to polish the hell out of it, I'm not into doing that on these old things like this. Not a whole lot of value, even though it's so old and, and rare. Um, mainly what I do is so that someone could have it in their collection. Makes it a little bit nicer to look at. Tell me what you think about the handle. At least you can hold it now without woodworms getting in your hands. Hope you liked the video, let me know, hit the like button, dislike, tell me what you think, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for lots of other restorations that are coming up and there will be one soon. So have a good one guys and I'll speak to you later.